Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. How are you today? I'm so happy you're here. I am on my way to the gym, but I had a thought. This is the perfect opportunity to speak to you about why I let go of my fake hair, of all of my wigs, because I'm on my way to the gym and I'm thinking, fuck, my hair is gonna get messed up. Like, my hair is gonna get messed up. I don't have a relaxer. My hair gets really curly when I sweat. Do I really wanna go to the gym? Is this not a struggle for all women everywhere, all over the globe? We just seem to have more of a struggle if you're my skin tone color and have extra curly hair. Welcome to my channel. I am Carolyn Nikki Henry, and this is a channel about self-discovery, awakening, womanhood, friendship, all things that make us better. I like to share my experiences and inspire you, encourage you, motivate you to just go deeper within yourself. I like to read and I just like to give a helping hand. It's naturally just in me to speak and help people. So here we are, make sure you subscribe. I gave up my fake hair. I gave up my fake hair December. So I challenge, I'm challenging myself to go one year without any false pieces, any wigs, lace fronts, half wigs, all the wigs, the bang wigs, the side piece wigs, like anything wig related, right? With the exception of eyelashes. Cause I like an eyelash, I'm a lady, okay? This is my argument. Women have accessories. We have lipstick, we have eyelashes, wigs, jewelry. Um, what else do we have? Blush, eyeliner, lip liner, eyeshadow. We have things. We have shoes and dresses and bows and ribbons and we have accessories. It's just how it is, right? Since the beginning of time until the end of time. We have our babies, our little girls, and we're all ready to what? Doll them up. Doll them up. I have two sons. I've never had that opportunity um, naturally, but I do have nieces and I was blessed to have friends with, with daughters and I get excited. I'm like, ooh, here's a pink shirt, here's a bow, here's this. You know, we want to doll our little girls up, right? It's fun. So with that being said, as an adult, it carries on. And this has been my obsession. Fake hair. I love it. I just love it. Like, it's a whole new vibe. Like, look at this. Like, yes? Yeah. Like, huh? No. <laughs> Me? <laughs> like, it's a whole new, I'm a whole new person. Do you feel this? Like, if I go higher, what? I just want to jog or something. I want to jog. I want to go out. And if I make a bun, like, who's telling me what? I can get a bang, like, put behind my ear. Like, yeah, I'm looking in the camera right now. Oh, look, come on now, stop. That's a vibe. Like, did you feel how powerful that was? Just by me putting on this false hair? Like, did you feel the energy? change that's my point when your energy changes your vibe change vibrations energy that's they're they move they're not stagnant and people feel that it's transferable right what energy do you want to put out what energy do you want to receive is the better question.
because what you put out will come back to you. In my journey of discovering who I am fully, I had to throw away my wigs. I love my wigs. I love my hair as well. But I am aware enough to know that I am sensitive, highly sensitive to energies. When I put on my false hair, I become a new energy. Sometimes attracting energy that I do not want. I said that again. I really need you to understand that. I challenge you to go out with your wig on one day and then the next day go to the same place with your wig off. Just see how people interact with you. Note the differences, note the similarities, note the energy. In order to get to know yourself fully, you need to be able to present yourself fully and authentically. And it starts on the inside. So when we put on these energies, these new personas, it just gives off something false. I can put this in here. I can throw that over there. I don't have to wash it. I can if I want to, but it's in the closet until next time. Do you feel like that in your relationships? Like people are just disposing of you easily as if you don't matter, as if you're not a human being, as if you have no emotions, no priorities, no preferences, no feelings, anything. It's what you're portraying to the world, in a sense, if you really think about it. And I'm talking to you, but I'm speaking to me as well. I've been tossed to the side. I've presented a false self. So moving forward at this age, I need to present my authentic self. I need to present my authenticity because that's the energy I want to receive. That's the respect I want to receive. Now, I'm not saying that wigs are terrible. False hair is terrible. Again, I am I am a very feminine woman and I love all things feminine and I love to dress up and I love all the accessories we have to play with as women. However, personally, I have to be more conscious. I have to put a conscious effort forward to how I want to represent myself in the world. At this age, I only want to attract what's good for me. This is how you learn from those past mistakes. You gather your information, you take note, you don't repeat yourself. You gotta say, hey, what is the deeper meaning of what happened to me? The why? If you never get to the why, which is 99.9% .9 of the time unseen, it's the unseen trauma that's causing chaos in your life. I don't have time for that anymore. It hurts. It's insanity to keep doing the same things over and over and over and over and over again and wanting to get a different result. So this point in my life and moving forward, I'm letting go of the false hair. It's helping me. It's helping me see myself for who I am. It's helping me give off the energy I want in return. 
I want you to really think about that and consider that. And I do realize that wigs are an accessory for women, but I'm working on butt. I want to get rid of butt. However, there are patients out here with illnesses. There's patients that need hair on their head and makes them feel more feminine. If you lost all your hair for an illness or um, chemotherapy, anything sensitive to in that area, oh please, I totally get it. I totally get it. This is coming from a place of wanting to know who you are authentically. Tap in, tap in deep, tap in so deep to what you cannot see with your eye and ask yourself, how can I change the energy I'm putting out into the world so I can receive that same energy back? What am I giving off to the world when I walk out and I'm not standing in my true identity? People look at you and, and they read you really quickly. That's what the brain does. That's why we have clothes and we present ourselves a social atmosphere, a social image. That's very important. Think about your social image and what you're putting out into the world. When you put that false hair on, think about what you're receiving back. Think about how you're portraying your beautiful self, your beautiful self. How much are you hiding your beautiful self? Beautiful. I cannot stress that enough. I used to wear hair down to my middle of my back. Loved it. Beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Huh? What? I took her off and put her in the closet. She's in the trash now. It was hiding me. I like who I am. I think I'm pretty cute. Like, I'm not that bad. I was hiding myself. I was hiding my, my face, my neck, my shoulders, my hair. I was hiding me. Remember that unseen? The most important thing you can see is the unseen. Remember that. The most important thing you can see is the unseen. The unseen, once you see it, once you recognize it, once you acknowledge it, once you nurture it, water it, that's where growth happens. Thank you so much for being here. And I will definitely see you next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Okay? Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm joking. Bye, y'all.